Right, so we have great news regarding the new MacBook Pros because guess what? You can poke more things with these new MacBooks and what I mean by that is that we're going to be seeing the return of the SD card reader and the beloved HDMI port. Not only that, but we could also be seeing a chunkier design with better battery life. And also we have some clarifications on the release date and exactly when we can see these redesigns launch. So lots of juicy stuff to delve into. And so without further ado, make sure to like and subscribe. Click that bell notification for the latest Apple news and rumors. And with that being said, let's just tuck in. Right, so the source of this information is Min Shi Kuo, and as a recap, what he's told us so far about these redesigns are that we should expect a flat edge design, the lack of the touch bar, more ports, MagSafe, and mini LED. And well, in this recent report, he clarifies on which ports we should see, and that begins with the SD card reader. Right, so this is something I'm over the moon about because as a video creator, I rely on, of course, transferring videos from my camera to my Mac. And so having the SD card reader once again really is a blessing. Thank you, Timothy. And I can see this happening because unlike the other ports that Apple courageously removed, there really is no alternative to the SD card reader. And so, yeah, it was a mistake in removing it in the first place. And so I'm happy that Apple does apparently think the same. And so they're bringing it back. But the more interesting leak has to be the return of the HDMI port because for some reason, I just don't see this happening. So yes, I am aware that to a lot of professionals, they care about the HDMI ports because of course, a lot of older monitors and camera equipment use this port and so of course bringing it back is going to be something that they appreciate but i do have a few issues with this port coming back and this begins with which type of the hdmi port is coming to the redesign because yes for some weird reason humanity has decided to confuse everything when it comes to ports and so there's three main variations of the HDMI ports. We have the standards, we have the micro, and we have the mini. Now, why do we have three different versions of HDMI? I have no clue. It's one of life's biggest mysteries. Why do we have a billion versions of every cable and ports out there? I really just don't know. I don't know why we complicate these things for no real reason. Anyways, that's enough port ranting for now. Let's get back to my main point. Now the standard port is by far the most popular, but it's a pretty chunky port. And so I'm not sure Apple can bring that to the existing thickness of today's MacBook Pros. And so if Apple is prioritizing thinness with these Macs as usual, then we have to see the mini or the micro and that really isn't as useful because those standards aren't as popular and so you're going to be using a dongle anyways. Of course, there is a likelihood that Apple makes these Macs more chunkier and I'll explain why I think that is very likely. But of course, at the same time, Apple is known to make their devices as thin as possible and so sacrificing with a mini or macro HDMI port for, of course, extra thinness is something Apple would do. And I don't think a lot of people would find that port so useful. And so, yeah, I'm not too sure about those ports possibly coming back. Another thing I want to mention is if we do see the HDMI ports, I'm pretty sure that we'll have to sacrifice on one of the other USB-C ports we already have. So, for example, the 16-inch MacBook Pro has two USB ports on each side, and I think a lot of people are fine with that. And so I'm not too sure if people would be happy in sacrificing one of those universal ports that could be used for anything in exchange for a port that's limited to one use. And that's the thing about the 2016 era MacBooks. I know that everybody hates them because they have a lack of ports for those professionals out there, 
but the Thunderbolt USB-C ports we have right now are very universal. And what I mean by that is that they can be used for charging, transferring data, of course, for dongles, they have multiple uses. And so having as many of them on the Mac is ultimately way more useful in my opinion than having something like the HDMI ports, which as I said, can only be used for one single use. And also remember that we're seeing the MagSafe port on these new Macs too. And while I love MagSafe and it saved my Mac countless times, it only has one use, much like the HDMI port. And so if Apple had to sacrifice on USB-C ports in exchange for MagSafe and HDMI, then I'm not too sure about that. I think I would prefer having the current layout with an SD card reader instead. But of course, at the end of the day, this is Minchi Kuo. I shouldn't be arguing against one of his leaks. And so, yeah, as much as I might hate it, I think this is very likely. Now, of course, the via media option would be to keep the ports we have right now and just add the other ones. But I can see that being a little cluttered. Though, of course, at the same time, the 2015 MacBook Pro, which is hailed as the perfect MacBook Pro by many, had as many as eight ports, I believe. So, yeah, maybe Apple's going to stuff as many ports on these bloody MacBooks. I really have no clue. But yes, let's hope for the best. Now, actually, coming back to the HDMI port, of course, I mentioned that if Apple's using the standard port, that is very popular and, of course, is the one that most people want, then Apple has to make the machines thicker. And I think that really ties in well with a question I've had regarding the 14-inch MacBook Pro and its use of the M1X chip. So, a bit of background info, but... My worry with the M1X MacBook Pro, specifically the 14 inch size, is that, of course, a chip that is more power hungry is going to use up the battery even more. And when the capacity and the size of the 14 inch MacBook Pro should be roughly the same as the current 13 inch M1 MacBook Pro, then surely it won't have as great battery life as its M1 cousin. And of course, Timothy's objective is to upsell you and get you spending more money. And so when you use the comparison page and notice the cheaper M1 has better battery life than the M1X powered 14 inch MacBook Pro, then surely that's going to put some people off. And so I've been thinking, how could Apple possibly resolve this? Well, if this leak is true, then I'm pretty sure Apple is going to make these Macs chunkier and of course give us larger batteries to possibly exceed the battery life we get with of course the M1 machines. Now, I'm not too sure if the 16 inch is getting the same treatments because for reference, the current model has the largest battery capacity possible in a consumer level device. Anything above that and you can't fly with it. So yeah, I'm pretty sure Apple isn't going to make the battery any bigger on the 16 inch. They'll probably just space it out and keep the battery capacity largely the same, though that's not a huge issue at all since it's a pretty massive battery already, like I said. Right, to finish off, we have some clarifications on the release date of these redesigns. So recently, Mark Gurman has told us we should see these MacBook Pros around mid-2021, and so I've predicted that we could see these at WWDC. And to pretty much corroborate with this, we have Digitimes, who is an expert within the supply chain, and claims that they have evidence of mini LED panels coming in the 14-inch and 16-inch MacBook Pro are still on track for a release in the second half of this year. So yes, as much as I would have loved to see these MacBook Pros launch at the March event, it's looking pretty unlikely right now and we should expect it to release during the June to July timeframe. Anyways, I'm going to end it here, but tell me in the comments below, which port do you want to see back on this year's MacBook Pro? Is it the HDMI port? Is it the SD card reader? Or is it Firewire? Because for some weird reason, you're still using that port. 
in which case I don't really see that happening. But any other ports, tell me about it in the comments below. Anywho, thank you for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe. Click that bell notification for the latest Apple news and rumors. Check out a video here in the icon above about colors coming to the new iMac. They look amazing. And on that note, I'll see you guys in the next one. See you, peeps.